So, Wumi got across to Sahara Reporters. Sahara Reporters has been the platform that Wumi and Obele Gushi would often resort to hearing their thoughts, their opinion, or whatever it is that they wish to put out there. So I'm going to quickly go through what Wumi and Sarah Reporters decided to put out there. Now, as you can see from the title, Tearful Mobat's Wife Blames Father-in-Law for Autopsy Test Failure to Reveal Cause of Singer's Death, Laments, or Read Burial. So let's quickly go through a few of um, what is written here. Omo Wumi Aloba, the wife of the late singer Ileri Olua Aloba, popularly known as Mobad, has blamed a late husband's father, Joseph Aloba, for being responsible for the failed autopsy test that could not ascertain the actual cause of the late singer's death. Sarah reporters earlier reported that Wahab Shitu, senior advocate of Nigeria, the lawyer representing Mobad's family, said that a pathologist, Professor Sande Osiemi, said that the actual cause of the late singer's death could not be ascertained. She too told Sarah reporters that the pathologist from the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital last month told the Lagos Corona Magistrate Ade Dayo Shotobi that the results of an autopsy conducted on Mubat's body failed to ascertain the actual cause of his death because of several reasons, including that it took about 21 days before the autopsy was conducted. He noted that by then, the diseased body had started decomposing. When contacted for a reaction to the revelation by the pathologist, Mobad's wife, Omowumi, lamented in tears that she had been sad and heart broken since Wednesday after the pathologist's testimony in court. She accused her father-in-law of being responsible for the inability of the autopsy test to ascertain the cause of her husband's death, lamenting that the late singer's father ignored everyone's plea and hurriedly buried her husband. She told Sarah reporters, and I'm going to say exactly what they said she said, I have been sad, I have been heartbroken since yesterday when I got the news on what the pathologist said about the autopsy of my husband. When my father-in-law wanted to take him away, I begged him, I pleaded, I cried. Everybody around that place with me cried. My mother-in-law cried, but he pushed her away. Zlatan Ibile who is one of, the, one of my husband's industry brothers, pleaded, but he said no. My husband's lawyer pleaded, but they said no. Belashmuda called on the phone and pleaded, but my father-in-law said no. Everybody pleaded with my father-in-law, but he refused. He buried my husband hurriedly. He buried my husband that way. I did not even know when he was taking my husband to the morgue. I was inside. I didn't know when he called the ambulance that took my husband to the morgue. I had to take an Uber to go after them to Ikotu General Hospital. My husband did not even sleep in the morgue. He was kept outside till morning. I didn't even know when they wanted to bury my husband. I got to know through the media and I ran down there. They had already put him inside a coffin and his neck was even bent. She lamented that Mobad had not been she lamented that Mobad had not been already buried I don't know if they didn't get her well she lamented that Mobad if Mobad had not been already buried I think that's what uh, um, that, that's a typographical error there the autopsy would have been done and would have known everything that happened to my husband she said I know the autopsy would have revealed everything for the world to see for somebody that a nurse gave an injection with almost seven people in the same room the autopsy could not detect it because it was buried hurriedly. They even placed a heavy stone on my husband's grave. What for? Nobody deserves to be treated that way after that. For the pathologist to have said that in the years that he had been working, he had never seen somebody buried in such a manner shows how wicked the people who buried, who pied my husband are. 
It was my father-in-law and his court that did that to my husband. My husband suffered while alive and suffered in RIP. His body has been kept inside the morgue for eight months and now they could not get the result of the cause of his demise because he was hurriedly buried. How could a celebrity be buried in such a hurry? And to think that his father was at the scene when he was buried and it was raining heavily but he still allowed them to put my husband inside the grave. She further alleged that when she got there, uh, my father-in-law asked people to kidnap me and my son and I had to run for my life. According to her, the pathologist said that if Mobad's body had been exhumed between 24 hours and 48 hours after he was buried, they would have been able to determine the cause of his demise. But because he stayed over a week inside the shallow grave where they buried my husband, they couldn't get anything because his organs had decomposed. If my father-in-law had listened to me, all these things would have, wouldn't have happened. Now, see, these are the words of Wumi, Cynthia Adebanjo, aka Transformer, whatever it is. Now, who is lying and who is saying the truth? If we are to look at the chain of events, Moba's father has not included, subtracted ever since he came out on BBC to tell the world what happened and other private uh, interventions. He has never said anything different. Will me and your team, you have been the one coming out with different narratives. Why have you not addressed this part where Moba's father said that you had a paper with you and that paper was issued to you from the hospital you were supposed to deposit mobad at the morgue that was the purpose of that paper mobad's father said you were with him when you guys went to the morgue and two things were requested of him one police report two doctor's report you had the doctor's report why didn't you hand that over so that mobad's body will be deposited in the morgue and tell us that you didn't say to Moba's father that he should ferry or transport or fly or, or whisk or whatever Moba's body down to the village for traditional autopsy. Tell us that you didn't say so because we know what you said at the corona inquest. We know what you said there. We know what you told your Jesus lover. We know. We still have records of it. But all of a sudden, just like Darusha, Moba's uncle, for greed and Whatever it is, wickedness. He said his social media handle was hacked. So you too, you are still going to tell us that your social media was hacked and all of those things put there is not by you. That you didn't write or made any conversation with Jesus Lover. What are you saying here? You have the papers. If you say you don't have the papers, tell us that it's Adura that has it because everything is now being placed on Adura. The hospital gave you report, medical report of Mobad. Now, you cannot talk about that. Are you saying you don't know that this was requested? You say you had to take Huba to chase them, to go after them. Let us assume that all of these things are true. That Moba's father is not saying the truth or he was not even seeing everything at that time. And he felt or he thought that you are also with the group as you guys are all moving together from police station down to. When you got there to the hospital, according to you now, you have said it. You say you got to the hospital. When you got to the hospital, did you question the Cotton General Hospital? Did you question Moba's father about the mock? You didn't hear nothing. Is that what you're saying? Like you don't know. You said Moba's mother, the hand of Moba's father kicked or pushed her away. He didn't listen to everyone. Now you've mentioned people. That is where I am getting to. Wumi has mentioned the names of certain people here. Yes, Zlatan Ibile, who is one of my husband's industry brothers, pleaded, but he said no. Pleaded about what? Zlatan, you have been dragged into this. Was there a time that you told Mobad's father, let's take Mobad to the morgue? And he said, no, I must put him under the soil. You said, don't bury him yet. Let's take him to the morgue. And the man refused. Did Mobad's father take Mobad to the morgue? Are you aware, Zlatan Ibile? Husband's lawyer. You have been dragged into it. Mobat's lawyer, according to Wumi, my husband's lawyer, tell us, was there a time that you were with them? And Mobat's father said, no, I want to put my son under the soil. Bella Shmuda, you have been dragged into it. 
They said you called Moba's father and you pleaded. But your father-in-law said no. You said everybody pleaded. Everybody pleaded. But Moba's father said no. I am not taking my son to the morgue. I'm taking him directly. So there are two places that can confirm if truly Moba's father came. One, police station. Two, morgue. They have records. Did Moba's father come there? Seeking for police report? Did he come there seeking for a space to put his son? You said Mobad was not even put inside of the uh, mortuary, was kept outside. Why? Because the mortuary attendants requested for what you have. You had that paper with you. You did not bring it out. Now you are blaming him for burying his son. Wumi, judgment is right at your door.